Hello traders, welcome to Invest2.com's how-to series and today we're going to learn how to use the standard deviation. Well, the standard deviation is an indicator that calculates the amount of pips or points an asset has moved in a given period of time. So if we are using a 20 period uh, standard deviation, the standard deviation will calculate the amount of points or pips the asset has moved in the last 20 periods. Now, this indicator uh, will give us a look at how volatile this asset has been in the past. And uh, by looking at how volatile this asset has been in the past, we can have an idea of how volatile this asset is going to be in the future. This is how the standard deviation looks in a chart. Here we have the 50 minute euro US dollar chart and um, I'm going to explain to you how to use it, uh, well, how to read the standard deviation, okay? Now, you can see that uh, during moments of uh, flat price action or rangy price action, the readings on the um, standard deviation are very low. This means that the volatility inside this price or this historic price action is very low. And uh, the thing you need to know about volatility is that after a period of low volatility comes a period of high volatility and vice versa after a period of high volatility comes a period of low volatility this is why we are going to use the standard deviation to uh, kind of predict future volatility in an asset now you can see here that uh, during this period of time uh, we have low volatility in the euro us dollar Okay, and you can see that the standard deviation is uh, near the zero value. Then we have a spike up, okay? And uh, this spike up, uh, you can see that brings a lot of buyers into the market. And this springs uh, the uh, uh, standard deviation to the upside, to very high values. When the standard deviation comes to very high values, you know that uh, the volatility in the past uh, in the past uh, 20 periods has been very high and this means that after uh, this peak a period of low volatility might occur and this is how you're going to use the uh, standard deviation okay uh, let's say you are in a trade okay in a long trade and you went long at the break of this uh, range and uh, you don't know where to take profits well you, you might want to take profits right here just let me get rid of these rectangles for you guys so we don't uh, clog our or charts okay um, well let's imagine that you got long here okay this is just an example and uh, let's imagine that you just got long here and of course you your stops were all the way below here so you don't get stopped out on a loss uh, but you are in a winning trade and uh, right now you are in about 110 pips win and you don't know where to close your position well you can use your standard deviation to, to know where when to close your position uh, because like we said before after a period of, of low volatility comes a period of high volatility and after a period of high volatility comes a period of low volatility so you are going to use the standard deviation to know where to close the trade when the standard deviation peaks and starts to make this probably kind of uh, where or starts to point down such as in this case you know that a period of low volatility may occur and you need to close your trade so you can close your trade right here for a nice 105 or 106 pip win and uh, the same goes uh, when we have a period of low of high volatility uh, if uh, we are not in this trade let's say that you miss this entry and you are looking for a new trade well you, uh, just by looking at the standard deviation you will know that we have reached the peak in volatility of uh, the nearest price action so you are going to wait for uh, price uh, well, for uh, you are going to wait for the uh, low period of volatility to end, and you are going to spot when uh, the uh, the uh, standard deviation starts to peak to the upside. Remember that this is not a directional tool; it just shows you the strength uh, or the momentum in the immediate market. And uh, what you need to do, for instance, is use it inside a inside of a trading system. Um, for you to be able to use it for entries and exits 
uh, just uh, in this case you might want to use it inside of a support and resistance um, or a support and resistance system that will show you that this increase in volatility is in fact testing a huge level of resistance so you might want to get short in a uh, spike in volume and your short entry is here and of course your exit should be uh, if you are using the uh, standard deviation for an exit should be around these levels and you would have made a nice 95 pips on this trade so this is how you're going to be using the standard deviation to know uh, the strength of uh, the current trend and of course the periods of high and low volatility but remember to use it inside of a trading system and if you want to know more about technical analysis and how to incorporate the standard deviation within a trading system just go to invest advanced technical analysis and go through our courses